Hello, this is Katherine Reinke. I'm here with a sample tarot lesson. I'm going to help you with the rider weight and discerning some of the cards, the meanings, and the relationship in the spread. Uh, this uh, individual that we'll be doing today uh, is on love. They've shuffled the cards, they've cut them into three piles. I've just said my prayer and picked them up as I felt uh, compelled to do so. And we start with the first card, which is the uh, the center of the situation, and you see a man who is holding a stick, who is fighting. Uh, these are emotions. He's strong. Uh, he's on top of things. Don't really know whether or not that the uh, if he's going to win the, the outcome. However, these would represent things like struggling with um, jealousy, envy, anger, um, sadness, depression, um, indecision all sorts of different things he's fighting with. Now we see that the card is upside down to me, and that's how it's read. That means that this person is starting to fight less internal emotional battles. The, the wands are falling down. Next card that crosses the situation, we see three women with three cups. Cups represent love. This is traditionally the cup of grace. I would say to the person, uh, you've got some strong female uh, support right now uh, that's helping you overcome these battles. Oftentimes the person who you're reading will start saying, you know, that's true. My mom and my sister have really, really been there for me when I've been d depressed. I always encourage you to elicit a response from the person that you're reading to get additional information. The third card is the root of the situation, uh, of the tree or of the cross. And I'm glad that this card has come up. This is death. And oftentimes this is a, a, a feared card. Um, some, in some cases there should be some fear associated with it, specifically if people really are asking about health uh, of someone. But in this case we're talking about love. Um, death would mean great change, death of something. And this makes perfect sense in that this card is upside down uh, and this card is upside down so uh, the, the person who's asking the question they're going through a lot of trans transformation a lot of self growth uh, in regard to the love interest that they're uh, inquiring about if they're wondering about if they should be staying in a relationship or not or they're having a difficulty in the relationship it may be you may be able to discern that it's because that person may be moving and growing on person you're reading for. The next card is uh, in the position of what is leaving, what is in, you are in the process of changing. It's not completely gone, some of it's still there. This is, we see pentagrams which represent money. We see a man in the center who's giving to the poor. He's prosper he has prosperity enough so and with a generous heart that he gives to the, gives to the poor. So this person if, would have been, is uh, someone who, if someone needed, was down on their luck, they, they would give them the money. If they were asked to have money borrowed to them, they would give the money, maybe to the point of their detriment. But that's changing, and that's all part of the self-growth that has already been established here. When you become a psychic tarot reader, you also have to really open up your, your channels and know by touching the card and, and relating to that person, is this the person who's sitting across from you, or is it the, the love interest? That's channeling, and that's something that you, you develop and you grow with as you go along. The next card, and it's interesting, this was a, a, a reading about love, which is cups. Now the predominant suit is not heart, uh, cups yet, but now we've got two money cards. Oftentimes you will see a lot of money issues around love. Here we have this position, there's one, two, three, four, five, fifth. This might happen. This is in the etheric realm. This is a three of pentagrams, partnerships in business is oftentimes what this means. And generally if someone does form a partnership with one or more people, it will be successful. So now this is an opportunity for you to start asking questions. Were you thinking of going into business with them? Are they thinking of going into business? Is this something that you have wanted? You need to do some clarifying questions. This card at that point is kind of set aside. Um, 
in your in your reading, unless the person says, you know what, I've always wanted to go into business, or it really uh, resonates with them, then you want to come back to that card. The sixth one is the a short-term quick outcome, usually uh, within immediate or within six months. King of Cups. Cups is love. The King of Cups is the love interest. He's a wonderful lover. He's attentive to your needs. However, what do we see? He's upside down. Uh, the king generally can be read as an elderly man or an older man than the person who is involved with, with the, uh, the knight and the page being younger. Not necessarily older. It can also be that he is the epitome of love. But for here, this is an outcome. This could be two things. The relationship in the man, his love and affections are changing for her. Or she could also be possibly meeting a new man. Again, qualifying questions need to be asked. But this is not the kind of card you really like to see in a reading. Um, so you have to be very careful how you word your word this to the individual, being very uh, sensitive um, to how how they receive that information and give them something empowering for them with that. The next cards, I, I do put the three out all at once because these two I read together. These are hope, fear. They're, they're, they correlate very closely to one another. What we hope for is also what we, uh, we fear that doesn't happen. So we have now another uh, cup card. Uh, this I've always been an, inter is an interesting card. <clears throat> you see a man sitting there in all the hot love around him, but it, this generally means that someone who has a lot of love is become ingrateful. Uh, oh, I can do whatever I want. They'll always love me. Um, self, uh, Self-assured in their love. Uh, so, kind of a pompous card, too. So here you say, geez, you're fearing that you don't meet you're fearing that you don't become uh, that, or you fear he's become that. Uh, you're, you're, you're hoping that that doesn't happen. Maybe that's happened in a past relationship. Um, again, you need to do some qualifying. I'm doing a cold reading here. I don't have another person to uh, bounce all this off, so that's why I'm giving you so many possibilities to try to give you some tools that you can use when you do have that person with you. This is the Two of Swords, the intellect. Uh, you can see she's blinded. Uh, indecision, this generally means. So much indecision that the person uh, is immobilized and they can do nothing about it. However, it is reversed, so that has changed. Now, this would be uh, a hope or a fear. I hope that I am no longer indecisive. I fear that I become like that again. Uh, maybe in this reading the person is really trying to make a decision, should I or should I not stay in this relationship? All these cards really mean is an inner perspective for the person of where they're at with what they're asking about. This is the card here, uh, what influences the, what, who, who, it's people, what is influencing the situation? We have a Queen of Wands, the Queen of wands is she's a very as you can see flowers and cats she's a very loving loves nature um, great nice lady however she's reversed could be a mother who uh, is negative uh, something she's getting some uh, influence from a, another woman who she re respects saying geez you know and that's when again you have to start opening up to what is this person saying and when you do finally get to that point, you will be able to open. You, it will come through to you, and you will know what is going on with this with this person. I can't do that for you right now because I don't have. I'm just cold, cold, cold reading here. The outcome, uh, and I hold that off to the very end, so they're not big, big reason. You don't want the person focusing on the outcome right off the get-go. You save that card for the end. We have a king of swords. We have another man coming into their life. This card is the kind of man that really no woman would want to be involved with it's because it is upside down. King of Swords is a man who is very smart, very witty, uh, very intellectual. However, he's upside down and he uses his tongue and his mouth uh, 
to really hurt you, slice you. He knows right where, right where to get you. Push your buttons, uh, put you down. Uh, somebody you really, really want, want to get, get away from. So that is the reading, quite accelerated. And then I would try to uh, tie this all in together, uh, depending on her question. Let's say her question was, uh, should I stay with uh, X so-and-so? From this reading, I'd be like, I'd really consider maybe freeing yourself from him. Uh, through the reading, we may be hearing, gosh, maybe she always wanted to go into business and this guy's holding her down. Uh, and how would you do that? There's some qualities here that aren't so good for you. They're not good for really any woman. Um, and through the reading, she'll be saying, you know, that's true. That's, gosh, I sometimes I'll break down and cry. He, he really does these things to me. Maybe they're in an abusive relationship and she doesn't know how to get out. Um, you let her know that uh, you can do it and try to give her some, you can go into that business and maybe you give uh, them some tips, uh, go to the SBA, get a loan. To be a reader, you have to be very responsible and really um, a little bit like a psychologist to um, give them some options and some open doors. I'm going to end this, and in the next lesson, what I'm going to do is we will be working with the Symbolion, and I'm going to lay the Symbolion cards over these cards to give the person additional information. Thank you.